the worst couples ever. What's going on guys, Shaq Clips here once again, and this is some small clips of the worst couples I can find, but in this first one, it is absolutely insane. Basically, I guess this man ends up calling this woman's, I guess, co-worker, just to find out that she was cheating behind his back. Not only that, ends up asking where he's at because he acts like he wants to fight him, which I think was pretty stupid of him, but regardless, this man was actually cooperating pretty well, telling him how long they've been having an affair for, and how long his wife has been cheating on him. Listen to what his wife says at the end, she's absolutely stupid if she thinks this man's gonna take her back. The guy she works with, slash work, husband, part one. Listen, but did you smash or not, dog? That's what I want to know. Um, uh, yeah, we did. All right, there you go. We got nothing else to say. Where you at, bro? Why would you? No, no, don't do that. I don't want you to. Do, don't worry about it. No, don't do that. Why would you lie? No, don't, don't tell, don't do that. Where you at, bro? Sorry, bro. You suck. Chris, why would you lie? What do you mean? What happened? What do you mean? Nothing happened between us. Do you even hear yourself, Chris? Like, do you even hear yourself? Like, does that even make sense? So you think Buddy just going to lie like this? You texting Buddy, I'm a whack dude. You feel me? And you talking to this dude that you work with? Like, this is somebody that you work with. This is somebody who been around both of us. Well, vibing with us. You feel me? Hey, how long has been going on, Chris? Chris, how long has it been going on, man? Uh, probably like two months now. Two months. All right, there you go. I'm sorry. All right, man. All right. All right, man. And this sixth one, I did want to bring this up. Basically, I ended up getting me super furious with this woman's comments. I guess these people are talking about if a man or other people are walking to your house, make sure your kids or your daughter is dressed up correctly because you don't want her, I guess, being dressed up inappropriately. And she's like, no, it's her house. She can dress up the way she wants. Watch this first part. The second part, we even get you guys more furious. That your daughter should be forced to put on different clothes when when men come in the house. No, because if you're uncomfortable with that oh, shit, these niggas should not be going up in your house. If you're uncomfortable <laughs> with your child wearing something no, because no. a man is coming over, it's the. I don't, I don't want nobody in my house like even having the opportunity to look at my daughter in no type of way because I don't want to bring that pressure like. If I just, I don't know, it's, I feel like it's awkward. I don't want to walk in. like it's just a respect thing. Like, same thing, I mean, if I had a little boy, like, he shouldn't run around in a fucking diaper or just his underwear or some shit. Like, you shouldn't be doing that, like, when somebody else is coming to your house. So I feel like if you're, if you're a little girl, go put on some clothes. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's just out of respect. So I guess after that clip was released, this woman decides to speak up on that saying. She believes her daughter can dress up how she wants. It's her house. If you believe that your friends are going to stare at my daughter, then maybe you should have bring your friends over. But to be honest, it has nothing to do with that. It's just called being respectful and having proper decency. Yes, your daughter has the right to dress up however she wants in her house. But I also have the right to dress up literally naked in my house, but it doesn't mean I'm going to do that out of respect. So I'm not sure exactly what this woman's morals are, but this makes absolutely no sense. And this woman doesn't have any respect for guests, I guess. No, and let me tell you why. When my child lay her head, she gonna be comfortable, number one. Then you say, okay, well, I don't wanna put that pressure on whoever's coming in the house. If you feel like your daughter wearing whatever she wanna wear, being comfortable in her house is gonna put pressure on the person that you've invited in, you don't need to invite that person in. I don't give a damn if my child came down the steps in a push-up bra and booty shorts. She got the right to do that, cause she in her house. And if you feel like a man coming in is going to be pressured or it's going to be tempted to look at your child, that's a problem. Not only is that a problem because why are you looking at my kid, she's underage, she's a minor. So if you look at her and you have other type of thoughts, you don't need to be in my motherfucking house. Everybody is different and to each his own, both of me and mine. And I feel like my child is gonna have to cover up in her own house where she lay her head at. She is completely missing the point that people are trying to make here. It's not about them checking out your underage daughter. It has nothing to do with that. The point is, is how your daughter appears in front of them and it's out of respect. You just don't do these kind of things. The same reason I don't come butt naked down the stairs when your friends are over. It's the same reason your daughter shouldn't be doing that or even your son like the other man said. This is exactly what's wrong with the West. They're just losing pretty much basic morals. Because I got company coming over, that company ain't coming over. The only people that's going to be around my child is people who I feel 100% safe with, 100% comfortable with. And no, it's not disrespectful. It's not uncomfortable. It ain't none of that. My child, and let me reiterate, my child is going to be comfortable, especially where she lay her head in. If that make anybody uncomfortable, 
It's weird. And this is actually why I did enjoy this clip a lot. Basically, these girls actually gave a good opinion about OnlyFans. I guess this man ends up asking them, do you guys feel spoiled since you guys do it and you guys are making so much money? And to be honest, I do feel like they're somewhat spoiled a bit because they are making an insane amount of money. They're never ever gonna like us settle from that. And I thought they're gonna give some pretty dumb answers, but I'm not gonna lie, guys. They did prove a point pretty well. I think OnlyFans make girls more spoiled because they make so much money now. No jobs can compete and they just get spoiled with this income. No, because I feel like you could say that that's like saying, well, now a doctor makes X amount of dollars. Is he spoiled? No, he went to school. He got his degree. He studied. You know what I mean? That's what he makes. I've paid my dues. I've mm. busted my ass to get where I'm at and build the following that I have. I've modeled for 15 years. Like I've put a lot into this and worked so Just spoiled. like a medical doctor who went to medical school for 15 years. You model I'm just for saying, 15 I've, years. I've, I like that. So I don't feel spoiled. Nobody handed me this. Yeah. I've worked for everything that I have. I'll play devil's advocate here. It's definitely easier. Like, this is definitely easier than medical school, right. in my opinion. Yeah. I'm not saying that it's, like, I wouldn't put an equivalent to it. I think that how our society, like, we don't determine the supply and demand chain. So how our society is going to value, it's like, in the same way that LeBron makes more than a neurosurgeon and a neurosurgeon is doing something arguably more important mm. yes. or valuable to it. He's saving a life. And so the way that we put value on different careers, jobs, whatever it is, and the time it takes to learn that craft, like that's not that's not my fault that what I happen to be doing makes me a lot of money. Yeah. I, I'm not deciding that price. Mm -hmm. um, but I will say that like, spoiled is an interesting term but yeah i just value my time day. now this next one is definitely one of the worst clips on the list basically we have this man over here he ends up catching his wife cheating on him with his best friend that he took from the street yes his best friend was actually homeless he's saying hey man can i stay up a couple days and i guess during the, that time the best friend decided to take advantage of this man's wife and actually cheat with his wife on him not only that i think the wife is absolutely horrible for doing this because she knows her husband is doing a good thing so these these two people literally got to go out of this man's life it feels super bad for him trying to do something nice and then in the end just this happening it's not worth it bro it's not worth it bro And this next one, you have this woman over here who feels like what her past has done doesn't matter anymore, and her and a future person shouldn't care about how her past did. But hey, a wise man once said, a man cares about a woman's past just as a woman cares about his future. I did like a 50 train gangbang, and like everyone got really upset about it. I'm a community girl yeah. for everyone. This is no longer yeah, about this is, this is just like in my general <laughs> life. I don't talk about it anymore. No. Why not? It's just so old. Who cares? Okay. I have so much more to offer. Now, following for this next clip, basically, we have something similar like I talked about in the clip. Basically, I guess this man wants to have his girl, I guess, go away while his boys are at his crib, which I completely understand is just proper respect and proper etiquette. But this woman doesn't feel like she has a right to do so. So I guess this man's trying to tell her, hey, you know, can you just, do you mind leaving? And one of his boys actually ends up getting involved when he shouldn't have because he's actually putting his girl in her place. And when a man's putting his girl in her place, you have no right to get involved on that. It's not your argument. It's not your fight. You should just keep your mouth shut and let your man do his thing. But you guys let me know what you guys think down below. I mean, you see, I'll pay for you. You're beautiful. Okay. Wait a 
I'm here to pay the rent. You need to go to the back and pull us up here. Okay, but this is my house. You can leave. Oh, no, I'm not going to pay rent. Okay, I'm not going to pay rent. I'm not going to pay rent. Well, that's it for you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.